Good morning, y'all. Welcome to my kitchen. My name is Renee and I love to cook. And this morning, I'm going to show you how to bake my favorite breakfast muffins. These are so good. They're so simple to make. They only bake for 20 minutes and they're homemade. Stop making that stuff out of a box. I'm going to share my recipe with you. We're going to walk it through step by step how to whip up my favorite breakfast muffins. And I think you're going to be surprised at my secret ingredient. So hey there, my name is Renee, welcome to my kitchen. And like I said, today we're gonna make my favorite breakfast muffin. Now it's not just my favorite breakfast muffin, it is everybody's favorite breakfast muffin. Me, my husband, my daughters, my daughter's friends, anytime, whoop, my oven's ready. Anytime when my daughters were little and they would have friends spend the night, the girls would always say, mom, can you make those muffins in the morning? And of course I would. So I, today I'm gonna make them for you. Plain old, unflavored, no sugar bran flakes. This is the secret ingredient in these muffins that make them taste so good and so unusual. They're not super sweet, they're not full of sugar. You don't tell somebody, they have no idea. But when you tell kids, hey, let's have a bran muffin, they're not gonna try it. Don't tell anybody, but this is your secret ingredient. So let's get to bacon. These are the ingredients you need to make my favorite breakfast muffins. Bran flakes, plain unflavored bran flakes. Plain bran flakes. Pollux is down here, he wants one. You need one and a quarter cup of all purpose flour, three quarters cup of granulated sugar, one teaspoon of baking soda, a quarter teaspoon of baking powder, a half a teaspoon of table salt, one beaten egg, one cup of buttermilk, and a quarter cup of vegetable oil. You also need a large mixing bowl and a muffin pan that will hold 12 regular sized muffins. So to get started, we're gonna put all of our dry ingredients into the mixing bowl first. And I'm using a quarter cup measuring cup so I don't dirty up everything. So I put in one and a quarter cup all purpose flour, three quarters cup of sugar, one teaspoon of baking soda, level that off a quarter teaspoon of baking powder, and a half a teaspoon of salt. Now I'm just gonna give that a rough little stir. Just I'm just using my little measuring thing. Kind of stir that in. And then we're gonna add our bran flakes. Need a measuring cup for this. We need two and three quarter cups of bran flakes. Use two cups. And three quarter. So I got my bran flakes in all of my dry ingredients. Just give them a mix. Just like that. I'm gonna want one beaten egg. So I'm gonna put my egg in here and kind of beat it up with a fork. Just give it a good beat. I'm gonna add that egg into my bowl. Shut 
shake my buttermilk. Always shake your buttermilk before you use it. And I need one cup of buttermilk. And lastly, a quarter cup of vegetable oil. This is what it looks like, and I'm just gonna give it a good stir. I wanna get everything combined and moistened, and those bran flakes will start to break down in the buttermilk and the moisture. Smells good already. Just want to make sure that all your flour is combined into the buttermilk. Just like that. It's thick. It's lumpy because of all of the brand cereal. This is perfect. So now I'm gonna take my muffin tin, and I prefer my muffins to be baked directly in the tin themselves. You can put muffin cups in here if you choose. I just prefer the way they taste when they're baked directly in the tin. You can use any kind of cooking spray you want, but I'm just gonna spray my tin. There we go. I'm gonna use a smaller spoon to put my muffin mixture in the muffin tins just so I have a little bit more control. This is a regular size muffin pan and I wanna fill each cup up about three quarters of the way full. go around and make sure that they're all even and this recipe perfectly makes 12 muffins so you should use it all okay all gone 12 perfect bran muffins. So my muffin tins are perfectly filled up. Oh, look at that goodness. D they are gonna be lumpy and bumpy because of the bran cereal. That's the way you want it. But look at that, okay. My oven is already preheated to 325 degrees. Put my muffins in there, middle rack. and set your timer for 20 minutes. While the muffins are cooking, I'm gonna give you a little like side tip. If you're not somebody who's gonna eat all 12 muffins and you don't wanna have them left over, this recipe lends itself really well to whipping it up, storing it in your fridge, and baking whatever you want when you want it. So after you've mixed up your muffin batter, bake what you're going to, and then your remaining batter, if you just put it in an airtight container, pop it in your fridge. The batter is good for about a week or so. And then when you, if you want to make two muffins or three muffins or whatever you're in the mood for, get your muffin pan prepared, scoop out your batter. The batter is going to be a little bit thicker than when we made it fresh, just simply because it's been in the fridge and it's going to kind of thicken up a little bit. Scoop out enough batter to make how many ever muffins you want to make. Then just let that batter sit out at room temperature for 30 minutes to get the chill off of it, to warm up just a little bit, and then bake it just like we're doing today. It's perfect. I do that all the time. If the girls are not home and it's just me and I want some bran muffins, I'm not gonna make 12 just for me. So this is the perfect way to make it ahead, put it in the fridge, bake what you want. So you can always have freshly baked 
breakfast muffins at the ready. Oh look, who's coming in for a muffin? Pollux, did you smell the muffins? So the muffins are ready. Oh my gosh, y'all. My house smells so good. Pollux is ready for a muffin, and I'm sure Maxie's gonna meet me in the kitchen too. So let's get these out of the oven. Oh, look at those. Perfect, always perfect. 20 minutes for me. You may wanna go a minute or two longer if you like them a little bit browner on top. Crispy around the edges, golden brown perfection. I'm just going to let them sit like this for about two minutes and then we're going to get them out of the muffin tin. I'm so excited. Y'all, I love these muffins. They're so good. You will not be disappointed. You absolutely must try my favorite breakfast muffins. We're going to get these out of the tins and we're going to eat away. Look who's waiting for a muffin. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. After the muffins have set and cooled for a couple minutes, I do like to pop them loose from the muffin tin, kind of like this. Look at these crispy brown edges on that muffin. This is why I love to cook them in an actual muffin pan and not in the paper baking cups. Okay, time to eat. Right, Pollux, time to eat a muffin. Now we like to top our muffins with two things. You don't have to do this if you don't want to, but this is how we eat them in our house. Look at that. Look at the inside of that muffin. And a little powdered sugar. Okay, well, I need to have myself a brand muffin. If you could just smell these, they are incredible. They are so, I mean, I just don't even have words. I'm just going to eat it. I hope you all enjoyed my video today. Please try these muffins. You will love them, I promise. Your kids will love them. Your friends will love them. They are the perfect breakfast muffin. I'll see you later.